The winner of a communication award is Mary Conley for the publication of The Artistry of Art Deco, an illustrated selection of buildings in Greater Victoria. Mary has had a lifelong passion for art. She trained at the Honolulu Academy of Art, the Vancouver School of Art, and Bank Street School in Victoria. Known locally as a painter, her highly finished realistic paintings in many media are perennial award winners at large regional exhibitions on Vancouver Island. However, her interests encompass a wide range of media, sculpture, bookmaking, calligraphy, and computer graphics. For the past three years, her attention has turned to writing and illustrating a book on the Art Deco buildings in Victoria. The book and the associated lectures have brought the heritage and importance of Art Deco and Art Moderne to the fore. Sadly, many of Greater Victoria's Art Deco or Moderne's commercial buildings are in a state of neglect, the fine, clean designs cluttered by inappropriate signs and finishes. Dr. Conley has refreshed our memories of how the buildings were intended to and once did appear. Residents of Art Deco modern houses report groups of interested people with books in hand making tours of the buildings. The book includes neighborhood maps with the houses marked, encouraging heritage exploration. This experience and exposure to heritage knowledge can only enhance the community's desire and ability to do more to preserve this wonderful art form. Mary has always been a heritage buff. Once she learned how to navigate illustration programs such as Photoshop, she was off to the races with this book. She ended up drawing 91 of the buildings. The book took her two years to complete and depicts her illustrations of the 91 buildings and also has a sidebar that lists the characteristics of the style of each building along with the name of the architect or designer and stories about the building. Mary says her drawings are extremely accurate. She said it's because a lot of these buildings are going to go and she wanted to keep a record of them. It's kind of sad, she says. They were built during the 30s and 40s and that was the time of the Depression and the Second World War. There wasn't a lot of money. Resources were really funneled elsewhere. She drew maps of Oak Bay, Victoria, and Esquimalt so people could go around and have a look. Victoria is full of what Conley calls visual noise, which was the biggest artistic challenge for her. Some things that are present in real life had to be eliminated in the interest of clarity. She had to eliminate telephone poles, basketball hoops, garbage cans, and other impediments to seeing the buildings clearly. She manipulated photos so they would appear to be standing upright on the page using vanishing points so she could get the visual perspective correct. The hardest thing to draw was the curves, and sometimes it would take six to eight times to draw them. That was her biggest challenge. This book is a visual record of buildings that are now vanishing and is a deserving winner of a communication award. <laughs>